Hello everyone, Lonsay Mechanist here with part four. Yes, part four of the tier one showcase. The last time we showed you, last time I showed you the Weymouth and the Dresden. This video will be the Jorion and the Novik, the French and the Russian. Let's start off with the French and here we go. Now again, the now again, tier 1 ships are equipped with high explosive rounds with the exception of the British. There always has to be an exception made for the British. <laughs> um Now the tier 1 ships, they are not very they are not as fast as some of the higher tier ships. They are not as well armored and they are not as agile as some of the upper tier ships, but uh, well, the ship is just a ship. It all depends on who's at the controls, correct? All right, here we go. All right, right off the bat, the ship has three cannons facing forward, a broadside of five, and a and a rear and a rear facing fire of five, of three. Now remember, the French perk is big guns, so all of her guns are of high, are of high caliber. So, let's give let's give her a go. Huh? Sound the horn. Let's see. Do we have any players with us today or at the moment? Yes, we do. We have four other players. Let's see, we are with, we are with one of, we are actually with one of them, who is in the Chikuma, and he is firing at the AI. Now then, for a bit of, now then, a bit of information, firing your main guns produces a smoke plume which makes you very visible. So, if you wish to get close enough to your target to actually use torpedoes or anything, it would be best to avoid firing your main guns unnecessarily, but some people do it anyway. We've been spotted anyway. So, and she has a slower reload speed than the Germans. The German reload speed was about three seconds. This reload speed is about seven seconds. No, eight seconds. Adjusting aim, and we're and we're dropping we're dropping shells on her. We're dropping shells on the Albany. Alright, that disabled her engine, so she's gonna grind to a halt. Let's aim at the Chikuma. That also hit her engine. She's gonna grind to a halt. Unless they get that unless they get that engine fixed. Did he actually just try to ram me? And I better watch out, otherwise I'm about to get hit with a Xi'an here. 
Let's get her turned around. All right, Possum took out that one. That set them on that set the Weymouth on fire. Got our first kill of the day well, of the video. All right, we got some enemies capturing our base. Come on, get in reverse. Ships are big objects. It takes a while for them to actually slow down and stop. Let's see, a Dresden, a Juriel, and a Nino Bixio. I can do that too. Haha, <laughs> you got yourself stuck. All right, the Dresden's on the far side of that island, so I can't hit him. Oh, it looks like we won by capturing the base. So that's one victory. Yep, your team reached maximum points. We captured the base, basically. Set one on fire, destroyed one, hit, hit 57 times. Incapacitated four, but that's just one battle. Let's try this. Let's see if we can't do, let's see if we can't get a better showing of the Jurien this time. Just a moment. Okay, for a minute there, I thought that darn mic was on. Ah, quick sip of tea to refresh my throat. Ah, yeah, for a minute there, I thought the mic was off. I was about to say, oh, shoot, did I just actually record the first Battle of the Jurion without any dialogue? But no, mic's on, so you gotta worry about that. <laughs> All right, second battle with the Jurion, with the Jurien. This time we are on the eastern side of the map, heading west. But you know, looking at the profile of the Jurien, you can actually see it's a pretty nice little ship looking lo looks like. Any players with us? Yeah, we've got two with us this time. And I am paired with one of them. He's in the Chikuma there. Okay. 
Yeah, a lot of these ships around this period, I think were, yeah, I think were, they were still coal powered. They hadn't actually advanced to oil burning yet. Should be a group coming up here. Yep, okay, we got the Weymouth there. Okay, we're hitting, we're just hitting Isle, we're just hitting Rock. Okay, we're getting up to a pretty good clip of speed here. All right, let's try to full broadside. Five shells impacting midship. Looks like we destroyed one of their guns. And he's stopping. Yep, they're gonna ram, looks like. Okay, let's reload, and we're aiming at the Weymouth again. Good hits, we set him on fire, but it looks like he extinguished it automatically. All right, three shells. We took out one of his cannons. Okay, he's running. Yep, we're gonna lose him behind the mountain here. Who's this over here? Oh, that's a Dresden. And that's a way and that's another Weymouth over there. Okay, we're just about even. Both sides have lost four. Uh, we have lost both of the players on the on my side on our side. We have no teammates protecting the base, so time for us to kick it into high gear and try to get over there. Base is 50% captured. If we can make it contested, they'll have to stop and face us. Okay, we are in the base. And hello! Enemy ship destroyed, and we got a defended ribbon. That would be pretty awful if I was like the only one left, if I was suddenly like the only ship left. Yeah, the other way that pick is picking up speed. He's moving. Okay, the Shion is next. He's coming at me. He's barely got any health left. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and go up to full speed. Give them a full broad. Give them a full taste of our broadside. And we miss all except one shell. Go figure. Okay. Now we got a Dresden coming in at us. That's the third ship. All that's left is the Xi'an there. Let's see if my shells can't make it. Yes! And the Weymouth. And I make it five. Five kills with the five kills with the Jurian. Well, if this was a PvP match, that would have been uh, Kraken Unleashed Metal, but it wasn't PvP. It was it was versus AI. That was the second match with the Jurian, with the Jurion. Uh, good grief! I really need to study how to pronounce these th these things. Okay, next up is the Novik. All righty. Is everyone ready? All right. Novik, here we go. Yeah, islands again. You know, it would be nice if there was other maps that the tier ones could Boy, face on. National dialect. <laughs> okay, let's get up to let's get up to full speed. Any players with us? We've got four with us. Okay, Novik is tier one Russian cruiser. She's got. Uh, two to three guns facing forward, a broadside of five. Her guns are rotating really slowly. And an aft of three and an aft of three. High explosive ammunition only. And it looks like her top speed is going in at about twenty-five knots. And you know what? You gotta like the Russian flag. Well, the Russian naval, or the Imperial Russian naval flag. Oh, she turns real easy. Let's see if we can't hit this Novik. Yes, we do. We hit her. And she's got a faster reload than the uh, Jurian. Remember, if you recall, the Jurian had about an eight second reload. This is about four seconds. I mean, uh, that's not really surprising. The 
Jurian's cannons were massive, absolutely massive. Okay, we got some hits on the other Novik, but we've got three bearing down on us. We got a Xi'an, a Jurian, and a Shikuma. Okay, we set the Xi'an on fire. Set him on fire again. Ship really ain't doing that much damage. Okay, we just got her. Okay, now we got the Chikuma here. And there goes the Chikuma. Bye bye. She actually turn, seems to turn a whole lot easier than other cruisers. Hmm. All right, now we're opening fire on the Jurion. I know somebody's gonna rip into me for mispronouncing it, and I'm sorry. Just because I'm from, just because, just because I'm from Louisiana does not mean I speak French fluently. Ooh, and I just ran into an island. Okay, that was a little off. Okay, player just got the player just got the jury in there. All that's left is two cruisers, and they are all the way down there. One is a Xi'an, the other is an Albany. We got two cruisers down there as well. One is a player, and the other is an AI. I doubt we're going to be able to get down there in time, but let's, so let's head for the base to try to capture it, or see if we can't get a, a captured award. Okay, the player just took out the Xi'an, all that's left is the Albany all by it, lonesome over there. Perfect chance to run the Novik in a straight line, see how fast she can get up to. Yeah, because it looks like the Albany doesn't is not long for this world. Yeah, the Albany's dead. We win. She got up to a top speed of about 20, 25.2 knots, looks like. So about 25 knots. Okay, we set fire four times. Destroyed two, detected one, hit the target 85 times. She's got a pretty fast reload. A lot faster than the French, that's for sure. Okay, that was the first battle. Now let's go on to the second. I just realized something. <laughs> this will probably be the longest this will actually be the most videos I have done at one time. Let's see, I did the introduction to the showcase, the Albany and the Chikuma, the Weymouth and the Dresden, and now the Jurian and the Novik. Mm. 
So the tier one, so the tier one showcase would be about five videos. Well, I hope y'all like them. And if y'all want to see a tier two video, a tier two showcase, y'all are gonna have to wait for me to get the uh, to get every single one of the tier twos. Well, I mean, the tier two cruisers I could probably do. I uh, just wouldn't be able to do uh, Pan Asia because, again, the Xi'an is the only cruiser in the Pan Asia Pan Asian uh, tree. And why? <sighs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, we were spotted. By Chikuma. Got, a Chiku got two Chikumas here back to back. And an Albany. Ooh, she's holding her position. Okay, we just set one of the Chikumas on fire. Incapacitated and sunk. Alright, we got the Albany bearing down on us and the Chikuma's turning. set the Albany on fire. Just destroyed one of her cannons, looks like. And there goes the Albany. Okay, damage control, repair the rudder. And we just set the Chikuma on fire. Again. Well, this is the second Chikuma. The first one's already at the bottom of the ocean. And we set him on fire a second time. Good grief, I'm a regular little fire bug, aren't I? Ooh, that j ooh, that stopped him from running. Destroyed a gun. A gun. Okay, the AI just took care of that one. Okay, looks like that. Okay, yeah, that player just got taken out by the Wayman. And the Weymouth is on the way to the base, it's like. Let's see if we can't avenge his loss. And there's another Novik, a Xi'an, and a Nino Bixio. They are the only four enemies left. And I've killed two. So let's try for 
Let's try for five, shall we? Let's see if we can't take out five enemies. Well, we're doing some pretty good hits. Despite only having two forward cannons going. Okay, that went the third. Okay, he's slowing down, it looks like. And there we go, we just got the Weymouth. And here comes another Novik. I think that overshot. Yeah, that one was right on the mark. Okay. Let's turn broadside. We can bring all our guns to bear on him. There goes the other Novik. All that's left is the Shi'an. Yep, there goes the Shi'an. So five kills. We did, We I guess we did do five. Yep, five kills. Set on fire 10 times, detected 3, hit 127 times. And first place. Uh, let's see, we lost one of our players. We got the other two. Uh, the other two are with us, but they're down there. Oh yeah, plus tier 1 ships uh, don't really have a ship service so any credits you earn in tier 1 are they full credits they're not many but still that's one way you can actually build up your silver is just keep doing is grind some tier 1 battles Appar apparently that's what it looks like is that ship, ship service for tier 1 sh battles is uh, zero silver you can build up your in game silver with that All right, that concludes this part of the Tier 1 Showcase. I hope you all enjoyed it. The next part of the showcase will be the Italian Nino Bixio and the Chinese Xi'an, or the Pan-Asian Xi'an. All righty. Y'all have, y'all take care and enjoy.